Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and on this video I'm going to show you how to upload Open Invoices from QuickBooks to NetSuite. Stay tuned. To work on the Open Invoices upload, I will be using these elements, the QuickBooks Accounts Receivable Detail, the QuickBooks Customers and NetSuite Items Mapping, and the CSV Template. Okay, I'll show you how my Accounts Receivable Detail looks like. So here I have the customer list and the corresponding balances of each invoice for that customer, okay? As for the NetSuite items, in my previous video, I discussed how I created these suspense items. For the one tied to accounts receivable, I named it accounts receivable QuickBooks item. It's a non-inventory for sale item, and it's tied to the accounts receivable QuickBooks suspense account I use in my trial balance upload. Same thing for the accounts payable side. Uh, it's a non-inventory for purchase item and it's tied to the accounts payable suspense account I use on my QuickBooks trial balance upload. Okay, so before we go to the CSV upload, I'm going to show you how my balance sheet looks like after I upload it that try balance. So for accounts receivable, as you can see here, I have this AR QBO TB upload account. It's an other current asset account. And as discussed in my previous video, I use this account instead of the native accounts receivable account in NetSuite because this way I don't have to worry about affecting the accounts receivable aging report. Okay. So I'll be uploading the CSV, but before I do before I do that, I want to show you how it looks like. So I have my external ID column here. The customer ID column is already mapped to the corresponding NetSuite customer, corresponding amount, and the NetSuite item internal ID. Okay? Now Let's go and upload that CSV file. I already have a template here. Let's select that file. Next. It's already mapped, so we can skip all these steps. And I'm going to hit run. Now we will wait for the CSV to upload. The, CS, the invoices have been uploaded. Let's go to the balance sheet. Let's take a look at the accounts receivable account. As you can see, we have the AR account with the uh, $5,000 balance. We don't have the suspense account showing up anymore. So if we go to, and if we go to the aging report, we have a nice accounts receivable aging report with each customer showing the corresponding balance. Okay. Now what happens if I, for some reason, upload an incorrect balance to an invoice. I'm going to change the amount here. Instead of this 226, I'll change it to $326. If I refresh this, now I will have the entire balance allocated to the accounts receivable account, but I will have the suspense account showing up with that 100 discrepancy balance. So in addition to the suspense account helping us avoid affecting the aging report, it also serves to check if 
correct balances were uploaded to the accounts receivable account. Okay. And that's it. If you found this video useful, please hit that subscribe button. And remember, you can also find loads of other accounting software tips at our website at www.fusiontaxes.com.